How many times do you take that apart a day? Uh, a lot. <laughs> What's up, Insiders? Dan here with Haunt Collective, and today we are at Wormwood, is that correct? Yes, uh, right? Wormwood Gaming. Wormwood Gaming? What What do we have here? What's, what's, uh, what's this Basically, place you're looking at a collection of handmade wooden accessories for uh, tabletop gaming um, and dining. And di so this doubles? Yes, sir. This is our gaming table with dining features. It's first the gaming table, and yes. then, and then if we want to eat. If you want to, yeah, you can dine. So I'm, we're new to the whole gaming scene and everything. Okay. Can you kind of go over Definitely. what the, I mean, I see lots of fun doodads. I mean, it's really well put together. Sure. But what's, uh, what's can you just go through like a once over of what we're, what we're looking at? So first, yeah, we got a hand crank right over here. And that okay. sits in the slot on both sides on the table. And what's that do? So once this is inserted, you can raise and lower your game ball right here. Oh. You can bring that up to flush, and that does go even higher. Wow. It sits about an inch and a half above surface level, and that allows you access to the play surfaces here. There are three reversible play surfaces. You simply flip those over. Got a nice wooden play surface on the other side. Just crank that back down. We offer a five piece dining room topper that sits over the entirety of the table to protect your game. It's heavily spill resistant. All of our accessories on the side here are magnetic, so you can pull it right off the table. Oh, look at that. You can put it anywhere you want. They sit on a rail, so you can slide and adjust it wherever. And there is a sister rail on the inside for elbow room and storage. Wow. You've thought of everything. Just about. So is this all, you said this is all handcrafted. Is this, are these yep. one-off pieces or? So yeah, we do CNC a lot of pieces. Um, we do hand make some, we do veneer some, and some hardwood. But yeah, they're all made uh, by hand in shop, located out of uh, Taunton, Massachusetts. How long has the company been in business? I think since about 2012, I want to say. Okay. Um, and we've been doing really well. We have a lot of decent Kickstarters. Our fans love us, and we love I, them even more because they keep us going. I walked in you here, know? and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yeah, like, like everyone. Is, it just, I was drawn to the booth. Yeah, with it's just the design. And yeah, the booth was also handmade by us. So we make uh, gaming accessories. Here we have some rolling trays. So, so, so these are our, uh, our dice rolling trays, our tabletop trays. Okay. Um, they come in our different woods. These are our eight core woods. Uh, everything you see here is not stained or dyed or painted. This is the natural wood itself. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people do get confused because, I mean, the purple heart here looks very dyed, but that is the natural wood. The paduke here, very orange. Mm -hmm. And the tamarind, just the patterns alone. Just really give it wow, a really nice, that is unique cool. look. They are for the table or the individual player. We do have a licensed D&D &D table top Ah, trays. look at that. Those are new to uh, 2019. Here, these are our boxes of hope. Um, this is for the Take This Foundation. Okay. Um, I believe they all, it's a nonprofit foundation, excuse me. Um, all proceeds go to the charity. Um, they deal with raising awareness um, about social stigma, um, anxieties, okay. depression in the gaming community. Oh, that's nice. Uh, within each one, there is a token of a random wood that we use. Oh, wow. That's and cool. they can become very rare, very common. And it's basically a worry stone for people to carry around with them. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, it's a good foundation. I would check it out. What else do we have here? So further down, we've got our master vaults. And what is a master vault? So a master vault is this guy right here. So basically what this is for is to keep all your dice and heroes safe and sound when you're not ah. playing. Just close that up. Oh, look at it's held that. together with our very strong neodymium rare earth magnets. We offer the personal tray. It's a small one than the one you just saw. Yeah. And it all fits together, nice and snug for travel purposes. And then you have the leather strap. Yep. Wow, that's really cool. And it sits in there, just like that. This is another hero vault. Okay. So, ah. so it holds your heroes in there. Stay nice and cushy. And these are the 
single dice rolls. Ah, got it. Really cool. So what inspired you guys to start doing this? Um, in this industry before? like. So I've only been with the company for about two years. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it's uh, Ian Doug Costello and Ed Moranville mm -hmm. started the company. Um, I believe the idea came from a Waffle House. <laughs> So they That's were just awesome. all, yeah, they were just all sick of their jobs, as far as I know, yeah. and they just like, why don't we just do what we love and just make products for, you know. So were they in the woodworking business prior? So Ian and Doug have had a lot of woodworking experience, yeah, okay. about family history and, and whatnot. Here we have, um, I believe, our flagship product. Okay. So this is the Dice Roller Tower. Okay. And basically, it's good for DMs or like games where you have a lot of dice, like Warhammer or whatnot, a lot of D6. Okay. Basically, just... Drop it down the top. Rolls non-biased third party. <laughs> no cheating. <laughs> no cheating. <laughs> yeah. And oh, that's uh, cool. the fun thing about these too is these are all magnetic, just like everything else. So these collapse and fit into the tray. Really? Yes. Oh wow. And then when you get the whole set, dice ball included. And you get a leather strap with that as well. That's really cool. And it's pretty intuitive to put back together. So one of the sides is always numbered. Yep. And the piece has a matching number. So. And all you got to do is just touch the number to the number. And you can't put it together backwards or wrong? Nope. It won't let you? Because the it. way that it's set up, it only goes together one way. Exactly. So we made it as intuitive as possible. For just people like me. <laughs> well, I don't know you that well, so I can't make that <laughs> no, decision. No, you can agree with that. That's fine. <laughs> but, but yeah, there you go. Wow, that is that's, awesome. Uh, that's Wormwood. That's awesome. Where can people find you other than the show here? Sure, uh, wormwoodgaming.com. Okay. Um, we're located out of Taunton, Massachusetts. I believe I said that. But, um, Where are you located? Taunton, Massachusetts. It's okay. south of Boston. Okay. But, yeah, cool. uh, wormwoodgaming.com. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you for your time. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks. Now we'll get a bunch of B-roll. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.